Hello everybody and happy Monday. I hope you're having a great day. Um, we are just hanging out today with our puppy of the day. And this is Jackson and he is absolutely adorable. I wanted you guys just to get to see him and get to know his little personality because he is so gentle and respectful. And he has been hanging out with me and Angie in the chapel barn in Ashton and running around. And now we're just kind of gonna sit here and I wanna tell you a little bit about him. Look at him, he is so sweet. Now, whenever I'm holding him like this, he's very gentle and just mannerly. He's a very well-mannered puppy. He's not obnoxious in any way. It's funny because he's sitting here frozen like all of a sudden, like he's having camera shock. But uh, as you can see in our pictures that I'm about to post, he has been running around and playing all day. And he's gonna be a medium Teddy Bear Golden Doodle. He's only gonna be like 38 to 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's sweet baby. And, uh, but what I love about him is that he's not a pushy puppy. He's just very sweet and respectful. That was the thing that when I went over his temperament test with Carol, she said in the beginning, when he was like seven weeks old, she said he would need just a few minutes to just kind of adjust to any new situation, like sitting in the big chair with me. But once he's had just a few minutes to adjust and he feels everything is great, he is just the sweetest, happiest puppy. And a lot of you are interested in a puppy that's not obnoxious, that a puppy that's just not all over the place, but it's a puppy that just is very, very mindful of their surroundings and they want to please. And that's his little personality. Now, whenever he was a little bitty baby, he was a little bit more fluffier, but he is going through his adolescence coat and he's changing a little bit because he is actually an F1B golden doodle, but he's not gonna have that big fluffy coat that a lot of golden doodles have. But a lot of my clients really can't manage the big fluffy plush teddy bear coat and they want a more thick, this is a plush coat. He doesn't have that flat, sporty coat that's so short. He's actually gonna doodle out. We just gave him a little trim today because he had hair that was kind of sticking up everywhere and he had like his puppy coat and his adult coat. And so we just decided to kind of trim him up. But see, this is what you get. You get him just hanging out. Now in a minute, I'm gonna put him on the ground and let you see how he interacts with Angie in a minute. But as long as I will sit here and hang, he will do this with me. And I know a lot of you all are wanting a puppy that's more of an emotional support dog or just a companion that just wants to be right where you are. This is him. But he's not a puppy that you wanna throw in the mix of five or six other dogs and a bunch of kids and everything because he, he takes everything in and he's super sensitive, but so sweet. There's not a mean or scary bone in his little body. He's just so sweet. And that's what I love about him. He's just so precious. So in a minute, I'm gonna put him down, but I just like y'all just to see that he'll just hang out with me and sit, look at him. And he's got this, his coat is real soft and cottony and it is actually gonna doodle out a little bit. I have no doubt because of the hair that's already on him and the plushness, but I don't think he's ever gonna be the big, big like teddy bear coat. But a lot of my clients say that they want a puppy like that because they want a puppy that is not as hard to um, manage, take care of their coat, have to groom them as often, and especially clients that are in wheelchairs and things like that. It's a very nice coat for them. So look at him, Just he pay, he's paying attention to everything going on and he's sweet what you think jackson what do you think about everything and he he just wants to get up into me like he literally has his body pressed on me and earlier when i was taking photos and standing his little leg what he was like leaning up against my leg he loves to touch and be close so if you want a dog that really wants you and wants to have a relationship with you. He's like pressing in, 
He's just so sweet. So uh, let's see, Angie. Go okay. back there and just see if he'll come to you. Okay. Come we'll on. see if he'll. Look. He wants She's to be next to you. He wants to be with me. Look, he he's interested. You. you want to come? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he loves you that. Some help getting down? He's thinking about it. You need some help getting down? Come on. You want down? Okay. Come on, then. Let's All right. Down. So I'm going to flip the camera oh, down yes. and let y'all see him playing with Angie. But you see, he's got he's got playfulness about him, but he's very respectful. But he loves this little ball. Look, he loves this Cassie Bear ball. See, that's our favorite. We've been it is. Since we've been walking around. Yeah. Know, it's a familiar toy to us. Yeah, just let him walk around. I want him to just play and them to see because they said, I saw you sit. Now I want you to see that he does have ha He's got a lot of joy. Look at him. That's okay. Look at him. He's just going to bebop away. Huh? He's our puppy of the day today. And a puppy of the day is a special puppy that gets to hang out all day in the, he's like the star puppy. He gets to play every day. And he wants to play with his little Cassie Bear ball. But the puppy of the day um, gets to come to the chapel barn and hang out. This is the area where our puppies are picked up. It's where the gotcha day experience happens here at Smeralia. And uh, he just is having a blast. Oh, look at that. He's got other toys over there. Oh, look at you, you're back. There you go, Mr. Jackson. You're so cute. Yes, you are. You see how I trimmed his uh, coat up? It, it just had two different, his puppy coat and his adult coat. So we just trimmed it up. Isn't he cute? He is an F1B, but you know, our F1Bs are our most allergy friendly and least shedding golden doodle that we have, anything with the F1B. And so he is that, look at him. Oh, how sweet. You're such a good boy. But I, when, I, when I think of Jackson, I think of just a gentle spirit, just a kind, gentle spirit. Now, he loves other dogs, and he loves all people. But if you see him in a new situation, he'll just kind of come in and be a little shy for uh -huh. a second. It's, he's not timid. He's just a little shy, and he wants to observe the situation. But once he's checked it out and, and he understands what's going on, this is his little personality. And he loves to run around. And just Anytime you put your hands on him, he's going to stop, and he's going to let you put your hands all over him. He loves that. See, as long as she's petting him, now whenever you stop, walk, see what happens. See, he just goes back to his thing. Independently playing. Mm -hmm. He plays independently, but look, he's going to follow her. He, he, really, he really enjoys his, the companionship of people and wants to play. He was born in June, so he's, he's like four and a half months old. He's going on his fifth month. 6'10". Yeah, 6'10". Actually, he is that. And he's fully vetted. We haven't had him neutered yet, but that'll be coming up soon. And he's doing great. I mean, our puppies have playtime every day. They're interacted with. I mean, he's living his best life. But today, he is having his time of the day at the chapel barn. Oh. And like I was saying earlier, see that coat? I've evened it up, but it's super plush, y'all. It's not flat like a Labrador or anything like that. It's got it's got a lot of fluff in it. You see the ripples on the back? We just evened it all up because he was he was getting a little he was getting a little um, wild hair looking, so we had to get all those little stray hairs out and kind of put a even him up. It was time for a yes, and now he's so adorable. He's yeah, checking things out. Jason, come on. Look at him. 
Isn't he sweet? Yeah. He's just such a sweet puppy. So guys, if you're interested in a puppy that, that his temperament is set, a lot of times when you get a little bitty puppy, you're just never sure. I mean, we can, you know, our temperament test is a window into their personality at seven weeks old, but there's no guarantees. And puppies come as a blank canvas and it's really up to their family and, and you know, their, their own personality to kind of develop into who they're gonna be. And I love it when you see a puppy like this and there's no question, this is the puppy that you're gonna get. This is his temperament. We've worked through um, all the different developmental stages and we're able to see, but look how when you put your hands on him, how he immediately just sits and engages with you. This is his happy place. Being with people, hanging out. A snuggle bug. He, yeah, he is just such a snuggle puppy. And like I said, gentle and easy going. Like he wants to interact and play. He certainly does, but he does it very respectful and very gentle. Yeah. He's so gentle about it. All right, Jackson. You are a great puppy of the day. So if you guys have any questions about our cute little Jackson, go to teddybeargoldendoodles.com. Go to the available puppy page, and you can see Jackson there. He's at the top of the page, puppy of the day. Call our office if you've got any questions. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. And, hey, if you're not a supporter, you have time to join because one time's today. We've got a lot of fun planned, okay? We will see you guys later. Bye.